day two of posting until I get a Wyvern gem shard. This is gonna exclude weekends because everybody needs to rest, but let's post day one together. There we go. Just a little behind the scenes for you. And speaking of behind the scenes, it's been a while since I've cooked for you guys, so let's make brunch. That was yummy. I made a bunch of it so I could actually meal prep for the next couple of mornings. That way I just have breakfast done and I don't waste my time on that. Also, it's super windy out today. It's one of those days where it's like, I don't know if I should wear a jacket or not. Um, it's nice and sunny, but it's incredibly windy. I think it's like 20 mile an hour gusts. So skateboarding is going to be interesting because it'll either make me go super fast or super slow. <laughs> also, I forgot my book intro on the last one. Why didn't you guys tell me? You got to be better about that. Anyway, let's get to the grind. So I had to sneak past that. Ugh. Eight stars in because there's no way I'm gonna actually take him out. Hopefully you can hear me over this wind. Kind of shielding it a little bit, but one of my daily quests is to take out a Paolumu. So let's take out the six star really quick. With all this wind, it seems like there's a Kushala or around or something. And that kind of makes, that kind of makes me feel like uh, discussing, what do you guys think the first elder is actually gonna be in the game? I don't normally discuss leaks, but <laughs> Um, there's a leak that Kushala is going to be the first one, and I don't know about that. Like, I know he was in uh, Freedom Unite, I'm pretty sure, because I played that like crazy, and that was one of the ones he was introduced in, I think. I think he was actually introduced in DOS, now that I think about it, um, but I never played that because I think it was Japan exclusive. But it just seems weird to me. Technically, the first Elder that I fought, I believe, was Lao Shan Lung but I don't think Lao Shan Lung is gonna be the first elder in this game. So it kind of makes sense that maybe Kushala would be it, but I don't know, it just seems weird for a first one. I was kind of hoping that the Monster Hunter Now exclusive elder would be the first one. That would be pretty cool, because it would be kind of like a signifier of like, all these elder dragons are coming now because this one came through. This was the reason there were all these portals opening up and now he's unleashed the elders too. That would be fire, but maybe it'll be a slow tricker tricker. <laughs> Old habits die hard. Maybe it'll be a slow trickle of elder dragons and then that elder will be announced. Because let's be real, the reason those portals are happening is because of that elder dragon, whoever it is. But anyway, let's clear these dailies and keep moving. We got the OG pairing here, so let's take them out. Okay, I know what you're saying. You're just hunting six star monsters. You're not hunting eight star monsters. How do you hope to get a wyvern gem shard? Chill, I'm hunting. This is monster hunter. I haven't seen any yet except for the Zin. So along with Kushala, the general like trio tends to be Kushala and, oh, he's coming. Ugh. Kushala, Camellios, and Toestra. Toestra? Sounds weird. And Lunastra. Oh, no, poison again. I have enough time. Take them out, take them out. Okay, so I'm wondering if they're gonna announce like all of them at the same time or release all of them at the same time. Four elders would be really cool, but I don't see them doing that all at once. Got a prime scale, but I really need a plate. Actually, I don't think I need it anymore. I upgraded all the Rathalos stuff I want to, really. For those of you who don't know or aren't familiar with the elders, Kushala Daora is a wind elder dragon. No, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Oh, I got clipped. Maybe I shouldn't talk and fight. Anyway, Kushala Daora is a wind elder dragon and it's made of metal, or at least its coat is, and it sheds it every once in a while, but that's kind of irrelevant. All you need to know is it gusts up giant windstorms and tornadoes to knock you over and destroy you. It's usually weak to thunder, dragon, and poison. And it has this wind barrier, so you can't even like really get close to it without getting like wind pressured. But if it's poisoned, it can't keep the wind barrier up. I'm gonna let my health regen and keep talking to you about this for a second. The reason that I say those three or four will be released at the same time or could be is because they all had like a gimmick. So with Kushala, it had a wind barrier. With Toestra, Tiostra. Why can't I remember this? It's like one of my favorite monsters. Tiostra. 
It's Teostra for sure, or Teostra, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. But it is a fire lion and has a giant fire barrier around it, which just burns you if you get close. So you're just constantly taking chip damage. Lunastra is the same thing, has a fire barrier. It's the female version of the Teostra. And Chameleos can turn invisible. So it will pull a chameleon and change its scale so that you can't see it. And will run around the battlefield and like use its giant tongue to one, steal items from you, and two, knock you around the battlefield. Future me really quick. Here I went into how you can break down those barriers by using poison or breaking the horns, but that was in the older gens. Sorry, I'm a veteran hunter, <laughs> so I forget sometimes. But in Gen 5, which is Monster Hunter World and Rise, it only like reduced to their power. So Kushala, for example, had this black aura and black tornadoes, and those would go away if you break the horns. Or if your dragon weapons built up enough elder seal, then it would stop those effects. But I'm pretty sure that Camellio still drops its invisibility if you break its horns but you could use smoke bombs or well-placed sonic bombs in the past to make it temporarily visible. But I wonder how they're going to implement this in Monster Hunter now. Are they going to go with new gen and use Elder Seal, or are they going to go with old gen and use poison? I don't know. What do you think? But they're kind of like a trio or qu quadro? What do you call a quartet? I don't know. They usually come as a package, at least in the older gens. In more recent years, they're kind of sparse between games or are DLC like in Rise. But I should be all healed up now, so let's keep moving. Bro, did you see that? Pink Rathian is built different. I switched to my hammer because I wanted to get revenge for yesterday and she just like targeted the heck out of me. I shouldn't have rolled so many times. I should have waited, but I was like, oh, she's coming at me. So I'll keep rolling. But then she just ran me over anyway. And there was like no time to perfect dodge. I haven't claimed anything for today. So I'm going to claim my gems and my potions or first aid meds and take her out with hammer because that's unacceptable. <laughs> is served but she got me again what the heck no more no more pink rathian i am super rusty with hammer but i should know her moveset good enough now that i can dodge it that's ridiculous let's go get these bone piles and keep grinding so i can get high enough dps to take out an eight star let's see what's in these bone piles no monster bone plus we got another pink i feel like i should grind for the parts i guess i'll do it really quick oh and i also have a huntathon that is a pink wrath well it's still lunar new year so let's take out this pink wrath huntathon although i kind of want to save it for a zin yeah i'm gonna save it for a zin and i'll just take out any pink wraths i see on the path <laughs> got a plate. That fight deserved a plate. I had her number on that one. Not gonna double it or anything because I'm all out of knives and I'm not paying gems for this right now. I kind of need the plates, but I don't like really need them, you know, unless elders come out and then we'll need dragon weapons. Rip every other weapon type that doesn't have dragon weapons. Right now, again, we only have dual blades, hammer, and bow. Silliness. Hopefully they'll add them with dropping the elders, but Niantic be Niantic. At least they have other weaknesses other than dragon. But in the main games, dragon is their biggest weakness, usually. I don't know if it's like that in this game. Is Pink Rathian more weak to dragon than it is to thunder? I think it's equal. I'll have to look into that. Let me know in the comments. I just haven't really taken it into consideration yet. Anyway, let's keep moving. I have to go take my daughter to a dentist appointment soon. I found a flock of Gargua. 
Do you think I can get a golden egg from it? Probably not. I don't want to go in that muck. Honestly, so many monsters spawn back there, it's kind of frustrating. <laughs> I guess it's realistic. Okay, so like I said, I have to dip really soon, but over where that big bridge is, there's a six stars in. So I'm gonna make that the finale of the grind today. Just continuing to try and get plates and more rare materials. But let's take out this Diablos first. Yo, double marrow for that. Heck yeah, the grind goes well. Let's get up to the sin and take it out. Dang it. I guess this is the nature of these things. The Huntathon's not ready yet, but it's probably for the best because I gotta go anyway. Hey, but it was a 10. If you don't know, every 10th Pokestop in Pokemon Go will be a much larger drop, and Niantic carried that over to Monster Hunter Now. So every 10th gathering point that you gather at, you'll get a bunch of extra material from, which is a really cool thing. I like that. Good, good gameplay thing, Niantic. Encouraging people to go to a bunch of gathering nodes. But I think I just got one of these large ones on a bone pile, so is it less than that? Is it like every five? Or is it every type? Like 10 bone piles, 10 mining places, that kind of thing? I don't know. Or I could just be remembering something from yesterday. But like I said, I gotta go. There were some pretty awesome drops today though, so it's definitely making progress towards being able to take out a bunch of eight stars. I have a ton of six and seven star monsters paintballed though, so I'm gonna end this video with an epic montage of me fighting all of them. Thanks again for coming on this journey with me. Please like the video, thanks for watching, happy hunting, and subscribe so you can go on this hunting journey with me. Now let's fight.